Martin Scorsese has been one of Hollywood's most prolific directors over the last 40 years. And he continues to be with Silence, his new film starring Andrew Garfield, Adam Driver and Liam Neeson. That's an awesome cast, by the way. And it's based on a book. I don't know who wrote the book. But it's set in, I believe it's 17... Not 1700s, but I know it's... It's set in the past. And it's about two Portuguese priests who travel to Japan to find their missing mentor, who's played by Liam Neeson. The two priests are played by Andrew Garfield and Adam Driver. And this is at a time in history where Christians in Japan were being severely persecuted for their religion. And they face horrible persecution and torture and abuse and all that. It's very... It, it appeals very much to uh, the Christian element of Scorsese's filmmaking, which has been prevalent since the very beginning, all those many, many decades ago. Even though this isn't what you would call classic Scorsese. It's not about gangsters, it's not about evil people, it's not really, no. It's not about, you know, evil people, it's not good fellas or taxi drivers, no, not violence, it's not gun violence. You know, it's, it's a lot tamer in a way than those. But Scorsese's always been doing things that are outside his box. You can go look recently, Hugo whoever thought Scorsese would do a children's movie. And this is another reason why Scorsese might just be the best movie director of all time. Because Spielberg, even today, Spielberg is still making good movies, like the BFG and whatnot. Spiel Scorsese, excuse me, is still making fucking great movies. Wolf of Wall Street was awesome. Hugo was great. Shutter Island's really good. Like, he... I, I, can ca I think, can anyone count more than five bad Scorsese movies like there's less than five like I can't I can't I can't even recall one that's you know critically panned like it's very very rare but anyway the film itself is just even more indication of how brilliant Scorsese is Scorsese said in an interview he's been trying to get this movie made for about 20 years now but he didn't feel he had the skill to pull it off until now that says something when it's Martin Scorsese. And it's not his best movie. It's not as good as Taxi Driver or Goodfellas. But it's still a brilliant movie. I thought it was really great. The performances are spectacular. Adam Driver isn't given much to do though. That is a criticism. Liam Neeson is really good in supporting role. But Andrew Garfield steals the show. He is brilliant here. If he wasn't getting all the nominations he's getting for Hacksaw Ridge, he would be getting the nominations for this. There is no way Andrew Garfield is not getting an Oscar nod this year. This and also Hacksaw Ridge, which I'm looking forward to. I love Mel Gibson. His movies, not Mel Gibson, obviously, because, you know, Jewish man of that. I don't know what I'm saying, really, but you know what I mean. Uh, what else? This film, it the filmmaking is pitch perfect here like the cinematography is beautiful you know the camera movement is great the visuals are lovely it just like it shows it's it's a master class in filmmaking this Scorsese is able to make this room look beautiful it's able to make the story have resonance it's not preachy it deals with a lot of faith-based stuff but it never ever ever feels preachy it never feels overly religious even though it is religious it it doesn't sort of confirm faith it doesn't boast about faith it challenges it challenges it it shows and it doesn't is it it isn't biased against japanese or it isn't biased against the church it's very split it shows okay what the japanese were doing was wrong you shouldn't do that to people but also, wasn't it arrogant of the church to think they could just go over to another country and push their religion upon them when that country had its own religion and not taking into account what the people of that country want and if they could even uh, con get the concept of that religion. I found that was very interesting. And again, my issues would be 
Adam Driver's character doesn't get enough time to shine. And also the movie feels a little bit too long towards the end. Like I could I think you could have cut maybe ten minutes off it and it wouldn't have mattered that much. But it's a Martin Scorsese movie, so obviously it's going to be really long. I just felt it was a little bit too long. Overall, I still think it was a really good movie. It's not for everyone. It can be a bit slow at times. But if you're a Scorsese fan, I say definitely go see it. If you love movie, if you if you're a lover of movies, go see it. If you are religious, then I'd say yeah, go see it because it's different to any other faith based faith based movie. I think I've seen in a very long time. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for silence. Uh, like, and like and subscribe for more macho movie goodness.